Why the cycle works, you ask? Well, listen close, you sexy ass. Welcome to Trading with Emotions. We are going to crack the code today, guys, because I'm going to show you why the cycle works. Okay, so we know that the blue pattern is a reflection of the June run-up, but it's also a continuation of the cyclical movements that are happening. So its structure is attractive when comparing it to other patterns because they're, they're laid out almost identical. But there's actually more to this cycle, so I'm going to be talking about more patterns that are found that could uh, sort of, uh, you know, make everything here make a little bit more sense to you. When I do make these songs, they're typically a, yeah, little teasers to a more in-depth explanation that I'll later be posting, which uh, this, is, this is one of them. So, yeah, I'm going to be using a projector analogy that I have. So... I don't expect you guys to be familiar with this, but if you know how a projector works, there is certain components in a projector that will eventually project a big screen. In this case, we have some patterns. We have our green pattern, we have our blue pattern, and we have a red pattern that I'm going to be showing you guys. So we can, we can kind of look at these with individual functions that they bring to the cycle. The green pattern is the projector. It will take all the data and transform it. It'll shoot it out. It'll project it to a big screen. If we understand each function and their mechanics, we can come up with a new perspective to understand how AMC is being manipulated through this cycle. For a projector to work, we need a light source. The light source here is volume. Once we know the amount of light or volume coming in, then the rest will do the work. When you watch a movie through a projector, it's functioning off of code to portray these colors that will ultimately make up this giant picture from a little projector. When volume shoots in, when light comes in, you have these pixels coming in, these particles coming in all at once. The volume passes what is a micromirror. These little tiny micromirrors that tell each pixel, hey bro, you gotta, you gotta stay this way, don't fuck around, I don't want you to move too much. Or it'll tell it, hey, I need you to flip, I need you to flip upside down, horizontally, whatever. I need you to be placed in this way and you can't fuck it up. Once they have their form and they're passing through these micro mirrors go through a color wheel. So it, in, in this analogy, the projector would be projecting these patterns that are passing through a color wheel. Color wheel will be spinning so fast that these patterns are basically being blended together to create what is one pattern. And once you have the structure of this one pattern, uh, well, you can think of these pixels as like bar patterns. So individual bar patterns, if you look at it, uh, you know, the hour chart, and then these little pixels would be, I don't know, the minute, the minute bar patterns that create this huge pattern. Yeah, so like once these pass through this color wheel, they will end up hitting a magnifying glass, which in this case is the projector. That is what's going to ultimately reflect on a big ass screen or the squeeze that hasn't happened yet. So if you really think about it, we're currently stuck in this projector. We're in this projector just bouncing off of these lights and mirrors and colors to make these patterns that are replicating themselves. And it doesn't seem like we have reached the magnifying glass yet. What's going to be this big ass picture, this giant screen. So yeah, I, I know it's a crazy analogy, it's just one way to understand how how cycles can work. But but yeah, guys, I'm not going to go too in-depth because this, this isn't fucking science class, but let's go back to these patterns. So we know they repeat themselves every two months. The green pattern we know is the projector. It is the actual run-up itself in projected form that will eventually stretch out. So it's making the image larger, as you can see if we... Uh, place this pattern right over here. It's identical as well. And you can even stretch it out a little bit more to make another identical towards the peak of it, which is where the blue pattern also reflects itself. So we know what, what the green pattern is now. 
Um, we also know that the blue pattern is just a reflection of that of the run up and is being spread out very nicely throughout the chart throughout the cycle. Now we do have a new pattern. There is a red pattern that is it's the inverse pattern of the run up. So think of it as a short attack. It's how they are hedging their positions, the ultimate flag that lasts forever and then gets shorted towards the end of the flag. Uh, uh, that's, that's just a really good strategy that they've been able to do for whatever reason they're able to do this. Um, but not for long, guys, not for long. So yeah, the red pattern is, is an inverse pattern and it is flipped. It's a flipped version of this run up. So yeah, these are all found through the entire cycle starting June. And there is more cycles that are hanging out before. Like there was the, how did, how did the fucking January squeeze happen? Like we don't talk about that, right? I do have an explanation for that. I'll be talking about that on the next video because here I just want to focus on the June run up. So once we end the day tomorrow, I will analyze the stock and give my opinion on the coming weeks. But we are tracking the cycle. And I just want you guys to know one thing. Remember, this is all speculation. This is my interpretation of the manipulation I think is happening with AMC. So let me know what you guys think and let's chat about this. Um, remember, this is not financial advice, so don't take anything super, super literal. Um, be fucking careful out there, guys. And thank you for watching. Fucking love you, man. Train.